Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and this is the second artist review. Not all the programs start with the GPU uh, enabled. Some of them start with the Intel HD 620 engaged, and so you need to actually manually change that by selecting the NVIDIA control panel right there. So let's start in Photoshop. Uh, you can see we're in performance mode, as well as right here shows that that little lightning bolt shows that the GPU is active. And you can see that a couple different ways here. All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and repeat this action. OK, and let's go ahead and blend. So we're using normal size brushes. You can see the, the blending and the drawing is, is uh, zero lag. Now if we bump this up, so we're using a 500 size or close to 500 size pixel brush, you can see that there is lag. Now if we switch to a pixel brush here, this is a good choice, and we bring this up to five or 600, see again, there's lag. Uh, the canvas is 3000 by 2000 at 300 dpi for reference. Alright, so let's do the standard jitter test. We'll pull up the finer than fine brush from Kyle. And if we zoom in and do the test, you can see these little divots here where it's I think it's pulling the pen tip or the input point uh, over to my palm, kind of like a palm rejection kind of an issue. Now if I pick my palm up, and palm down, let's see. It's pretty good, very similar to the new Surface Pro uh, that I reviewed earlier this year. Um, still better than the Surface Pro 4 and the original Surface Book. I think there's some good improvements, and the new Surface Pen is a perfect pairing as far as I'm concerned. One improvement I'd like to see is I'd like to see the tip of the pen adjust to the body line of the pen. So basically that point right there would move out a little bit when I tilt the pen instead of lining up as if the pen was vertical. It's really, really good. Uh, as far as the size goes and the weight of the computer, like picking up, it doesn't feel awkward. It doesn't feel especially heavy. I had the 15 inch Yoga uh, 720 before this and that felt really cumbersome and it was not easy to pick up. Here you can see these new Surface Pro and the 13 and a half inch Surface Book and then the 15 inch Surface Book. And the Surface Pro is the same size as the previous generation, which I think is 12.3 inches, but I'm not positive on that size. About the SD card slot, it is the short one from the regular Surface Book. Um, you can charge through the the USB-C. I used a Nintendo Switch charger and that worked. It is slower. Uh, I believe it's uh, 10 to 15 percent every half hour and with the um, uh, 75 watt charger I believe it is. That one I was able to charge uh, 25 percent in half hour so it was two hours to charge the entire thing which I thought was actually really great. Now I also have the new, new Surface Pro, the uh, M3 model which has the same connector but it's lower wattage as well and that one does connect and charge but again it's a slower rate it's very similar to the USB-C charging speed in the next video I'm going to show how the clipboard behaves on its own performance wise lie wise for now I'm going to get into some questions that I got from you guys alright so yes it charges by USB-C it does not charge by the way with just a USB-C cable plugged into a USB port or a portable battery I tried that, uh, even a fast charging USB-C 
portable battery, it said that the compatible the charger was incompatible and used the one that came with the device. So normal charging, 50% to about an hour, 80% was about an hour and a half, and two hours was 96%. Charging via USB-C by the Nintendo Switch, which is a 15 watt charger, I think. It was uh, 10 minutes, got us 5%. So again, that would be 30 minutes would be roughly 15%. How hot does it get? It was very tolerable. Um, because of the design of the Surface Book and the hinge, the vents are up here and there's a gap in between the device uh, screen and the device base. And that's where the heat dissipates into. I think that's a really great way of handling it. There's absolutely no vents down here. And this little rubberized track feels really nice sitting on top of any hard surface. With the Surface Pro, there's nothing on the back like that, so setting it down feels like it's always going to scratch. Uh, the fans can actually be adjusted by adjusting the power mode. So you can hear the fans right now, and they're going to wind down, and then you'll hear them turn off in just a couple seconds. Let's take that off of rotation. Okay. Does the battery drain while plugged in? Yeah, it does. But only during really heavy use and uh, unlike the Vial Z Flip that I had earlier this year where it would drain significantly and power off, uh, this seems very, very nominal. I was getting 1-2% to 2 drain during heavy gaming during an hour's worth of use. So that's days worth of playing at that drain level before you're gonna power off. Not a huge deal, uh, not ideal, but I think for doing artwork, you're not gonna see a problem. So here's my big problem with the Surface Book and the reason that I returned the original Surface Book that I had. If I'm doing something in a program that's using the GPU and it's in full screen mode, Almost all the time you need a keyboard key to get out of full screen mode or to interact uh, with some of the different pop-up dialog boxes that come up. So how do you do that? Well, there's nothing really to press here, uh, so you have to press the power button and the right button, right volume rocker button. Then you go into the program, you hit here, you hit end task, the program asks you to save, you press the button, it closes down, you press this button right here, to detach the screen, you flip around your device, you put the screen back on, you reload your program, you reload your file, and then you have access to your keyboard keys. The only problem is the keyboard is now vertical. If you're using your tablet laid down flat, the way that feels most comfortable, I think, to most people. This is the reason why I think Tablet Pro is such an essential tool for anybody who owns a Surface Book. Uh, we are having a sale right now for Tablet Pro. It's $9.99 for everything. The total value price um, of everything is $54.99, and we're doing a very big sale until Monday. So if you're watching this video, uh, I would recommend picking that up right now. So how long does the battery last? I did some gaming on it, and I've had mixed results, so I'm not gonna really go into that yet, but subscribe if you wanna know. More on that, I'll have that in the next video. Does it feel good for designing? Yes, absolutely. It's a wonderful machine to work with. It feels really good, the pen to the screen, the touch interaction, all of that feels great. The screen does feel kind of overly large to me. Um, like I, I would be fine with just this area to design in. And it's nice having the Tablet Pro uh, artist pad over here because it kind of shrinks the way that the screen looks. So if I close this down, it looks ex especially big. And then when that's up, it looks like this is the usable space that I need. And I don't do like a lot of really big lines across uh, the page if I'm drawing, so that's not something that I've ever really wanted. Uh, one thing to note is it is a giant tablet. When you're carrying it around, it does feel big. Not huge, but big. Giant, kind of. If it's sitting on the side of my bed 
is it comfortable and easy to lift up with one hand and use? Yeah. It's very easy to pick up with one hand. It's not feel heavy or awkward. Uh, I don't have any problems with that experience at all. Um, I have it set to undo. This is in the this is hover undo solo, and this is inside of the community assets for Tablet Pro. And that's tabletpro.com. So sign up if you want that. So essentially, you can just in any program undo, which is pretty cool. If you want to right click, you just tap and click, and you still have right click functionality. All right, is it heavy? I, no, it's really not, and especially for the size. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. Um, now, when this is docked, you want to pay attention because it will click and secure itself if, with it's not when it's not all the way plugged in. This right here is actually wonderful to hold. I, I really like it. It feels good. Um, having the screen up a little bit and then wrapping your hand underneath uh, feels nice. And it feels, it does feel more stable than the other one. I threw my pen just now, so it's on the ground and I'm not willing to get up to get it. Pretend I'm holding a pen. Yeah, see? You're doing it. All right, so anyway, that feels really nice. Uh, I like this. Again, the big issue is if you're trying to do anything that needs a keyboard, you have to, and this is the fast way to do it. So I'm gonna tap here. Okay, that was faster. It is faster. And we're gonna click in right over here. And open it up. Okay, now it's open. And now I can use the keyboard and the mouse the way, uh, the standard way. If I want to do that and I have a program that uses the GPU again, this, this is the big issue I think with the Surface Book. More than anything else, that's why I keep mentioning it. So you're going to have to think about whether you want that or not. Uh, for 3D, um, using ZBrush, I have ZBrush Core. Uh, if someone has a file that they would like to send, please send it, and I'll demonstrate that in the next video. Something that obviously has a high poly count so that we can see uh, a really good indication of, of how that looks. All right, um, does Tilt work with the new Surface Book 2? Yes, because it's based on the pen, not on the computer that much. Okay, so here, this is a Windows App Store app. And you can see the rotation of the pen. This is probably the easiest way to demonstrate the pen rotation. And this one does it better than Photoshop. Photoshop, they do some funky things with the little um, animation over here they have for the brush tip. It makes it kind of hard to tell which angle you're at. This one does a perfect job. And this is called Ex Expressi. It's E-X-P-R-E-S-I-I. -I. Apparently it shows you the frame rate. We went into some more details, but we did not cover everything. I know there's going to be more questions. And uh, <laughs> leave them in the comments. And I will try my best to get to those questions in the next video coming out soon. Uh, I will have the gaming video. The Surface Book 2 for gaming, which actually is extremely exciting and very, very promising. I don't have a problem with the Surface Book for gaming. Right now, it's it's a beast. Uh, there are a couple things that you're going to need uh, help with to get it to work right. Um, but I will go into pairing the Xbox wireless controller, which is different than the Bluetooth one, in detail. As well as uh, setting this up to run on your TV with the controller and streaming audio into the controller. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. If you're watching this today, have a happy Thanksgiving. And until next time, stay creative. And also subscribe.